Oh, I definitely see it. People telling me I'm not gonna see it. Fuck out of here. What up, peoples? This should do with Lee Solo. I'm out here again for another adventure and another video and doing something different than I've ever done in my photography career, and that is shoot with a 200 to 600 millimeter lens. This bad boy. Very large and very zoomed in. And just a perspective I'm not used to seeing, so I'm kind of curious to take some shots with it this weekend. And generally, this lens is actually more well known to be used for uh, wildlife and uh, sports, neither of which I really shoot, but I thought I would just come out and get some perspective on some cityscapes, some time lapses, and maybe some mountains and whatever else I can find. So let's see what I can get up to this weekend. Bring along my boy Dougal, and, and I want to share some of the shots that we got. So come along and see what we got for the weekend. Should have worked out this week before I actually picked this thing up. So what are we trying to do here? Is this guy looking at me? The main thing is you need a really high shutter when you're shooting with a zoom lens like this. Otherwise you're gonna get a ton of shake. Uh, first impressions of this lens. Uh, heavy. <laughs> it's very large. I'm gonna need to do some push-ups. Oh, hey, this is a spot. Hey, this is a spot. We almost walked right by. <laughs> We've had enough of this Bernie B Mountain. So now we're gonna hit up Capitol Hill or something like that. We are out here doing one of my favorite things, time lapses. For the first time ever, I'm doing a time lapse with a 200 to 600 millimeter lens, which is a crazy zoomed up focal length. We are far away from the city. You can see it. It's, there you go, we, it's far in the way. It wouldn't be a proper time lapse without my teeth. Cheers. All right, we should fly the drone. been a solid like uh, two something two something three hours I don't know that's what we happens when you do time lapses you're you camp out for a long time Shit. oh it's cold but it's worth it uh, it's I mean that's the hope Good morning. I'm back out here. I went to bed at like midnight, then got back up at 3 a.m., got in the car, left uh, West Van, and now I'm in White Rock. As you can hear, all the seagulls around me. Thought I'd come shoot sunrise and see if I can get more luck with uh, in being in focus with my time lapses. It wasn't just the wind, it was probably me pressing the display a couple times, because I'm a dumbass. So we're gonna try this again. Time-lapsing has commenced. I did look at the forecast. I knew that there was going to be some sun and some clouds, but I did not see how windy it was going to be. I'm sure you can hear it in the microphone. I got sandbags. I got all kinds of things to try to weigh down the camera. I'm just gonna pray to the weather gods to ease up on the wind. Please. It's a windy, cloudy day out here. As beautiful as it's been, I don't even know if I'm in focus. I think we're gonna call a wrap on this and head to the next spot. Okay, so I went from White Rock to now Squamish, uh, about an hour and a half north, looking for eagles. Figured it would be a good way to put this zoom lens to use. 
but I haven't seen a single eagle yet, so I don't know how well this is gonna go, but I'm sure I'll find something to shoot. Not gonna lie, a little disappointed. I didn't see a single eagle out here. Just a bunch of seagulls, not as exciting. But uh, whatever, it's a nice day. So just enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the views for whatever they are. We'll see if there's somewhere else we can go. So let's take another stab at it. Okay, well, it's been a lot of running around today all over the place, and I figured I'd treat myself to my favorite truck stop, Mountain Woman Fries, or whatever the hell it's called. It's goddamn delicious, and I can't wait. All right, well, this was a great stop. Happened to hear this weird sound like of a dying animal and it's the very dramatic sea lions that were right swimming up the ocean here. So I'm not sure if there's anything else in this video. I've seen sea lions and sunrises and sunsets and I feel like I've shared a bunch of my experience and info with you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Peace.